Question 13a is asking us to complete a square for 3y squared minus 5y plus 2 equals 0. Or find the value of y to two decimal places using the method of completing squares. Good. So in order to complete a square for this, we must first of all make sure that the coefficient of the square term, that is y squared is equal to 1. So we divide through by 3. So we have y squared minus 5 over 3. Minus 5 over 3y plus 2 over 3 is equal to 0 over 3. Which will give us 0. Now we need to look for half of this and square it and adding it to both sides of the equation. So we have y squared minus 5 over 3 y. Now half of this will give us negative 5 over 6. So plus negative 5 over 6 all squared all squared plus 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is equal to 0 plus minus 5 over 6 all squared now this will give us this whole thing will give us a perfect square that is y minus 5 over 6 all squared. If you expand this, we get this whole thing back. Plus 2 over 3 plus plus 2 over 3 is equal to this will give us 25 25 over 6. Now we can send the constant there to get y minus 5 over 6 all squared all squared is equal to 25 25 over 6 minus 2 over 3 now finding the LCM supposed to be 25 over 36 rather 25 over 36 25 over 36 the LCM of this will give us 36 then 36 will go into 36 1 get 25 over here minus 3 into 36 12 times 2 we get 24 now so y minus 5 over 6 all squared equals this now we take and we simplify this side we have y minus 5 over 6 minus 5 over 6 all squared is equal to 1 over 36 so we take this positive we take the square root of both sides so plus or minus of both sides so this will give us y minus 5 over 6 is equal to plus or minus 1 over 6 so this will imply that y is equal to 5 over 6 5 over 6 plus or minus 1 over 6 and this will be equal to 5 plus 1 over 6 or 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 over 6 so y y will not be equal to 6 over 6 which is 1 or 4 
và three, four và six. So then, let's first leave our answer to two decimal places. Hence, y is equal to 1.00 or y is equal to this will simplify to give us 2 over 3 and 2 over 3 is the same as 0 0.667 so which is the same as 0 0.67 to 2 decimal places to 2 decimal places So you have to work at at least three decimal places first before you run to two decimal places.